today, we hear about one of the newest up and coming clubs here at Wheaton Academy. That and more on our first WA TV episode of the year. Good morning, Wheaton Academy. It is great to be back. I'm Shuler Williams Coakley, and we are starting our sixth season of WA TV News. You'll notice a lot of changes around our studio as we try to maintain social distances and do things the right way. The most obvious change you see here is that Shuler and I are sitting six feet apart at the eight-foot table instead of a news desk. I'm Madison Cavan, and it's Monday, August 24th. Thanks for joining us. Let's get you caught up on a few announcements. If you're at all interested in being a part of a team, hitting buzzers and answering trivia questions, then the Quiz Bowl team might be for you. The team meets for practice during Monday lunch and Tuesday after school in Mr. Jasper's room, Academy Hall Room 119. The first practice will be held today at lunch, followed by another practice on Tuesday after school. School pictures are tomorrow and Wednesday. You can stop by the atrium on either day and have them taken. Order forms are available at the front desk or you can order them online. Tell your parents to check WA Weekly for instructions on how to order. The live stream team is looking for students who are interested in learning more about event and sport broadcasting. There's no experience needed to join, so come to Studio 22 at lunch on Wednesday or Thursday to learn more about how to get involved. Furnace Company is a dance and comedy improv team that allows students to participate and showcase their talent creatively in the arts. Improv team auditions will be held on Wednesday, September 2nd in the evening from either 3.30 to 5.30 or 5.30 to 7.30. The audition location will be in the Warrior Dome. The dance team auditions will be on Thursday, September 3rd from 3.30 to 5.30, also located in the Warrior Dome. Students will need to sign up for their audition on the theater board located outside of the teacher's lounge in the main hallway of the academic building. Application forms are required for all students who are interested in auditioning. All audition information can also be found under the Student Center of On Campus. Girls Golf won their first match of the season last week, being the Sentinels of Westmount High School by a score of 199 to 228. Ellie Canaris and Anna Jones led the Warriors with scores of 49 for the round. This past Saturday, the boys golf team competed in the Wheaton Cup Tournament. This tournament included Wheaton North, Wheaton South, St. Francis, and your own Wheaton Academy Warriors. Due to COVID-19 and IHSA regulations, every golfer was expected to wear a mask unless they were actually in the process of hitting the ball. Your fellow Warriors came in second place. Sam Dykema, Graham Head, and Ben Eldersveld came in second, third, and fourth amongst all other golfers in the tournament. Students can participate in a lot of co-curriculars here at Wayne Academy. Matthew Johnston looks at one of the newest clubs. What's going on, Wayne Academy? My name is Matthew Johnston, and today I'm here to introduce a new club. To Wheaton Academy, calling all people interested in technology or software because the Servers Club might be for you. Now, if you don't know what a server is, a server is pretty much epic hardware that connects computers and helps them to share and communicate data. The purpose of the Server Club is to provide a space and the resources to explore and learn about technologies in both the enterprise and consumer space of servers. The server project contains very high end enterprise gear that all members of the club can and will directly work with. The first meeting is August 26th during lunch in room. 226. For more information, contact Peter Sorensen via on campus or email at peter.sorensen at wascaller.org. Make sure to be there and check out Servers Club. This has been Matthew Johnston with WATV signing out. It's great to hear about a lot of new clubs that are coming to Wheaton Academy to provide um, a lot of different options for Wheaton Academy students. So that was absolutely amazing. Yeah, definitely. Picking a lunch spot around campus can be a bit exhausting and challenging. Sergio Santana shows us a couple of places you can hang out and enjoy time with friends. As we take advantage of the good weather and many students march outside for lunch every day, it can be hard to find a quality spot to eat. We ventured outside to find some of the best spots around campus to enjoy your lunch. First off, the white tent. This one is obvious. It catches the eye of anybody walking by and having tables there is certainly a plus. However, the major downside is that you can only have two people per table, 
But other than that, it's a prime spot with plenty of room for you and whoever you want to eat with. Next up, the green tent. This is another overall great spot. While it is noticeably smaller than the white tent, it has shade from both the trees and the tent. It's secluded from most other spots and will always make lunch a good time. Along with the green tent, anywhere on the grad grounds and grass surrounding it will be both comfortable, shady, and has plenty of room to spread out with big groups, however big they may be. While there's obviously many places to eat, feel free to check out some spots you haven't been to yet before the weather turns cold and you can't anymore. For Watt TV, I'm Sergio Santana, signing out. Thanks for that segment, Sergio. With a campus as big as ours, you might find a new place to eat every day for the next couple of weeks. And speaking of food, Kenneth Tolman visited downtown Wheaton to check out one of the many popular outdoor eating venues. On June 26th, restaurants in Illinois were allowed to reopen for outdoor dining and limited indoor dining as a part of Phase 4 of the five-phase Restore Illinois plan. One popular restaurant to eat at right now is 302 Wheaton. 302 Wheaton is located in downtown Wheaton and is open with new changes to meet the CDC regulations. They have outdoor seating with tables spaced out six feet apart, a reduced capacity for indoor dining, floor markers for people to stand six feet apart while waiting in line to order, and everyone is required to wear a mask when they are not eating. 302 Wien is a fun place to get a burger and fries and hang out with friends while staying socially distanced. 302 COVID-19, obviously eating outside is the best and safest mm -hmm. option. Um, and so there are a lot of great restaurants that offer that. And that is unfortunate that due to the Midwest weather that that will be leaving us in a few months and outside seating will be closed. But for now, it's open so we can enjoy. Yeah, I live near Naperville in downtown. So there was one point where they closed down the entire street and put tons of tables out where all the main road had tons of restaurants. And we just ate like grilled cheeses or chicken sandwiches. And it was amazing. Oh, for sure. And it's great to just have that option to be able to feel a sense of normalcy in this time where everything is, is so different and everything has changed. Mm -hmm. The transition to e-learning last spring created quite a challenge, not only for the college board, but also for any student that was planning on taking an AP test. Madison reports on a few success stories from our very own Wheaton Academy students. Even with the many hardships that come with taking AP classes and tests, there are still many things to celebrate, such as AP exam successes. Last school year, 204 Wheaton Academy students took 432 exams. That is about a third of the student body who took AP tests last year. Of the AP scholars, 87% scored a three or higher on their exams. There were 26 AP scholars with distinction who received an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scored a 3 or higher on 5 or more of these exams. 16 AP scholars with honors received an average score of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scored a 3 or higher on 4 or more of these exams. 31 AP scholars received scores of 3 or higher on 3 or more AP exams. Five national AP scholars scored a four or higher on eight or more AP exams. Congratulations to all who took the AP exams last year, and good luck to everyone taking them this year. I'm Madison Kevin from WA TV, signing off. It is really impressive just to see the amount of opportunity that Wheaton Academy gives to many students who want to take AP classes. So congrats to everyone who did it last year, and Good, great job, just what you've done the past few months. Yes, uh, great work, everyone. Um, me being one of the students who was able to earn college credits in high school, I found that it has been so beneficial and it just really pushes you to prepare for college and also just pushes you kind of ahead in your career and in life and what you want to do. Our PE department has had to make significant changes this year to the Department of Health recommendations. Catherine Swallow researched the changes happening with the weight room. On Thursday, I interviewed Mr. Swider concerning the weight room and how classes would be handled with all the new COVID restrictions. Masks are required in class, even though every other rack is blocked off with caution tape. Students are allowed to take off their masks when doing their set, but must immediately put it back on when they finish. I asked about sanitization. He said they're using wipes and spray. After every use of a bar or dumbbell, the student wipes it with a cleaning wipe and then dries it for their partner. 
Mr. Swider lucked out on the max number of students allowed in his class. It's the same as the class from years past, so there will be no shortage of partners this year. After class, he sprays the room with a cleaning solution. Everything looks different this year, and this is how classes in the weight room look. This is Catherine from Wah TV signing out. Thanks for that, Catherine. Since we are unable to gather collectively for community time like in years past, we brought community time here to Wah TV. Here is Miss Carwell with this week's community rundown. All study hall for juniors and seniors will be different places this year. All juniors need a report to Fieldhouse Court too. For attendance purposes, you must sign in with your study hall teacher. If you choose to leave campus, please make sure you are signing out in the front office. Juniors, you cannot be in the main academic building during study hall. Seniors, it's a little different for you as well. Seniors, you can be in the senior lounge or in the atrium. All seniors need a sign out we're signed in with Ms. Roberts, and you can remain in the senior lounge. If you are going off campus, please make sure you are signing out in the front office. Juniors and seniors, you are welcome to sit outside during study hall, but please make sure you are not going in and out of the buildings and disturbing teachers. Um, and make sure when you are outside, you are aware of the learning that is going on. Next announcement. Parking permits. Parking permits, for those of you that are driving to school, make sure you have registered your vehicle. Those need to be done with Mr. Ellison. There's an application on the Wheaton Academy website. So please make sure that you have registered your vehicle even if you registered it last year. These can be done by talking to Mr. Ellison if you have any questions and make sure you pay him and get your parking permit validated with him. Next announcement. Student IDs. All students need to have an ID when they come to school. This is really important when you are coming in and out of the building. It is also important if you have lost your student ID to let us know so we can deactivate it and reissue a new one for you. If you need a replacement ID, you will get an email to you on your on-campus account where you can fill out a form. New student IDs will be $10 through September 1st, and after that, they will be $25. More information will be sent to you shortly. And finally, self-certification. This is the most important one. Thank you for those that have stayed committed to this process for the first few days of school. Please make sure you do this with your parent by 715 each day. Even if you are absent from school, you should make sure you, do, you are doing your self-certification. This is an important step for us to remain together in school each day. Thank you for those that have done this, and it might be a challenge for you, but we ask that you continue to stay committed. If you have any questions, talk to Nurse Jen about this process, um, and make sure you do it tomorrow before you come to school. And I wanna send it back to Schuler for four things you need to know. Thank you, Ms. Carwell, for that helpful information. Now let's finish off with this week's four things you need to know. Number one, Wheaton Academy, get out your phones right now, open up the Instagram app, and follow us at The Real Wah TV for daily updates of what's happening around campus. Number two, this week's chapels are going to be Mr. Hogan on Tuesday and Pastor Jackson on Friday. Number three, we have a cross-country meet at home on Tuesday. Keep checking our Wheaton Academy Athletics Instagram app for updates, scores, highlights, and all things sports. And number four, if you end up eating lunch inside due to the heat wave that is coming our way this week, please stay socially distant and remain seated in your designated seat and desk assignments. That's all for us today. We'll be back next Monday for our next episode of Wah TV. Send us comments and suggestions to our Instagram account. For all of us in Studio 22, have an amazing day.